What's up everybody and welcome to our 30 minute Ken stretch class. I'm Matt, this is Haley. She's gonna be demonstrating while I'm coaching. So you're gonna get kind of two perspectives. You're gonna get the coach's side and then you're gonna get uh, Haley's side as she performs them as well. Uh, today is gonna be a running focused class, but really that just means a full lower body. Um, so we're gonna focus on lumbar spine, hips, knees, and ankles. And then a lot of the linear tissues, which is all of the things that do flexion and extension to kind of work with that running pattern that would also work along the lines of like a deadlift and a squat, that type of thing. Uh, only things you're gonna to need today for class are gonna be two sticks. Um, these are gonna be really important though. So you need these, you can do brooms, mops, anything like that, PVC pipes, uh, optional ankle weight. Um, I'll show you where we can apply that, but that is super optional for today. Um, so are we ready to go? You good? Yeah. Cool. She's ready. So this is an, uh, or Ken stretch is an irradiation based class. So we're going to start by building an irradiation percentage from zero up to a hundred. And then we're going to get into our training. So Haley's going to stand here. She's going to make two fists with her hands. She's going to roll back her shoulders. She's going to start squeezing the core, clenching the glutes. Good. Let's go 40% full body tension. So you can tell she's still loose. We can move her around, but, but she's tight. Now we're gonna turn it up to 60%, squeeze, 70%, 80%, 90%, veins are popping, you can see she's starting to shake, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and turn it down, good. Okay, now we're gonna go into our cars. So we're gonna use that tension base depending on how much challenge we want. So we're gonna be anywhere from zero to 100% effort, and I will tell you at various points of class where I want you. Okay, so Haley, I'm gonna have you start on all fours. So get on all fours, face 90 degrees from the camera. Perfect. And you're gonna put your head in your hands. Um, so yep, tuck your head. Okay, now I'm gonna have you press through your elbows on the ground. So press up like this, press the ground away. More, good. Okay, round your back. Okay, press up more. Awesome, so she's rounded her back. This is gonna lock off her thoracic spine and then she's gonna articulate just the lumbar spine and flexion and extension. So Haley, we're gonna go here for a minute and 30 seconds, nice and slow. You're gonna tilt the pelvis forward and then she's gonna tilt the pelvis back. So you can see if her pelvis was a bucket, she's gonna dump water out the front and then she's gonna try and dump water out the back. Tilt forward and tilting back. She's squeezing her abs and controlling that motion, good. And then a reminder to keep pressing through the elbows, driving up to the ceiling with the upper back. Awesome, nice control. Go ahead and slow it down for me just a little bit. So the cool thing about this is we're under constant tension for this minute and a half. It actually doesn't benefit you to speed up. We want you to go slow and turn up the intensity. So right now, Haley, I want you at about 60% intensity here. So she's really squeezing through the abs, moving through the entire movement. Awesome range here. We've got about 35 seconds here, Haley, 35 seconds. Stay with me, good guys. So really driving with the belly button, tilting that pelvis forward, tucking that pelvis underneath you. Tilting forward and tuck it back. Awesome, good Haley, 25 seconds here. Awesome, and then we're gonna start breathing heavy. We're gonna keep a nice shallow, tight breath, almost like a hissing of a snake, a tsh Good, and press up through those elbows. One more full rep, and good, Haley, that's perfect. Okay, next up, we are gonna go into hip cars. So, hip cars, we're gonna stand up here. Haley, go ahead and grab these sticks. Pardon the little background noise, we have a little bit of construction going on here. All right, Max. So, next we're gonna move into standing hip cars. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand, and Haley, I'm gonna have you straighten your arms out all the way, and then bring them out at a 45 degree angle. So come out like that. Drive those sticks into the ground where you feel the lats turn on, okay? I want this at about a 60 to 70% of radiation. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna bring that knee up into the chest as much as she can, and then she's gonna externally rotate. Actually, face the camera for me. Good, bring the knee up as high as you can. Good, yeah, nice. And externally rotate like you're hitting a hacky sack. Now she's gonna open out to the side, and right here she's gonna wanna poke the butt back like an Instagram booty. I want you to tuck that pelvis underneath you, as you make that transition into internal rotation, you're gonna squeeze the knee by standing leg, and then she's gonna open out to the side, drop the foot, pull the knee up, and head back into that external rotation. Awesome, we're gonna go into rep number two. 
internally rotating and squeeze that knee. Awesome. Out to the side, external rotation. Now slow it down for me a little bit, Haley, right here. So I want you to hold external rotation as long as you can, as long as you can. You feel that tight tension, then transition through that internal. Good squeeze. All the while trying to keep that pelvis as stable as possible. Awesome. That was three and switch. Let's pause again. Okay. And we're going to switch over to the other side. So same exact thing. So we're going to go into that external rotation. She's going to open out to the side and then make that internal rotation transfer. Knee squeezes in and you're actually going to try and get this outside the foot outside the knee. That's going to be internal rotation. She's going to open out external rotation, squeeze here and then restart out to the side. Core is engaged, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the knee into standing leg and try and flare this foot wide. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I had some tension on her pull up. External rotation, good, one more rep. Stay with me, tuck the pelvis, abs are engaged, and work it backwards. Beautiful job, awesome guys. So set this hip uh, sticks aside and we're gonna go into the knee neck. So you're gonna grab a seat. I want you to face the camera please. Perfect, and then hug one knee into the chest. Perfect, so this is gonna be the uh, start of our knee car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex this foot up as much as we can. And then she's going to think about a rod running straight down through her lower leg and she's going to pivot on that rod. So you've got external and you've got internal. She's going to squeeze to either side and rotate, slow it down and squeeze. So we want about 60% radiation driving through this challenge. So you feel a good amount of tension, almost like you're rotating through sand on the beach. Good. Nice breath. And these ones I like to do a little bit more repetition on, five to 10 to each side. And then we'll go ahead and switch. Go ahead and switch for me. Perfect, so hugging that knee up into the chest, flex the toe towards the shin. You've got that rod running down the heel, perfect. And now we're just gonna rotate side to side here. Squeezing, awesome. That was two, squeeze. And then as she's squeezing, you're gonna feel tightness. So she feels tightness here, squeezing here. Externally rotate, squeeze in here. Slow it down for me. Squeeze it here. As she rotates, squeeze, rotate, squeeze. Good, one more rep. Perfect, and now we're gonna go into the ankle. So for the ankle, if you do have props nearby, you can use a yoga block, uh, but it is not necessary at all. So I'm gonna have you prop your foot up on that block. Okay. Nope, just like that. So lock the knee out, and we're gonna do ankle cars. So you're just, going around as big as you can. So what we're trying to do here is express the maximum capacity the ankle has. So you'll notice how she's holding this leg. What she's preventing from is the femur rotating side to side. So a lot of times what will happen is as you're trying to do this big ankle car, go ahead and let your femur rotate for me as you do it. So you'll notice she's driving a ton of tension. This is what happens when her irradiation is lower than the effort of the ankle car. So let's say she's trying it at 60%. She was only focused on the leg at 40. So there's an imbalance there. So when we're 60 here, this has to be at 60 or less in the ankle. Otherwise we'll get compensation. And that's through all the cars. Good, go ahead and switch for me. Like. Yep. Perfect. Okay, lock the knee out. Good, flex the foot, awesome. And now we're imagining we're scraping the edges of a brownie bowl. So there's some bits on the side there. We wanna make the biggest batch of brownies we can. She's scraping the edges there, good. We're gonna go three in each direction if you haven't done three yet. Perfect, and other direction for me. Okay, perfect. Stick with me. Good, and stop. Okay, cool. So those are all of our cars. Now we're gonna head into a little bit of uh, capsular rotation of the hip to address that rotational capacity first, and then we'll get into our linear path. So what we're gonna do is take these sticks, I'm gonna have you stand up, Haley. Okay, and we're gonna do hip flexion axles. So I'm gonna have you face straight towards the camera, please. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna bring the hip into maximum flexion. So bring the hip up as high as you can. And then what she's gonna do is rotate external and internal. Now, what you're gonna notice, straighten your poles out a little bit more so you have more space, Good. drive them down, and then keep that knee right in line with the hip. So what we're watching is knee right in line with the hip, and then all that's happening is this femur is rotating in the socket as much as you can. Good, Haley. Now, go ahead and let the tension go in your pelvis. So notice as she goes internal, she, she gets this swing side to side. 
That's not what we want to do here. We're going to drive up. We're going to do five to each side. So she's squeezing the pelvis, not letting that hip come uneven. Squeeze side to side. Good. Two, two, three. Slow it down for me. Three, four. Driving knee up to ceiling. One more. Five and five. Good job, Haley. Go ahead and switch. Small background noise, but we're going to keep rolling here. So go ahead and bring that left knee up. And then she's trying to drive up in a flexion as high as she can. Same cues here. Don't let that pelvis duck. So you can see on her left leg, which is her non-dominant leg, she has much less rotation here. Um, and that is okay. You'll probably find a, a, a similar uh, discrepancy side to side. We're going to do five and then go ahead and rest. Perfect. Okay. okay. So next we're going to move into our linear path, which we're going to be a kneeling hip flexion in a lengthened or an extended knee position. So Haley, I'm going to have you drop onto one knee and I'm going to have you turn 90 degrees towards the camera. So go ahead and give a 90 degree. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Good. And you're actually going to straighten this leg all the way. Good. So do you feel a stretch in the hamstring right here? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So what we're going to do here is a two minute stretch roughly, and I'm going to take us through some scanning efforts. So you'll notice here how you want to take the extended leg, which is her left leg right now, and her pelvis is swiveling this way to try and relieve tension. What I want you to do is imagine there's a string pulling the hip into uh, left side rotation or whichever leg is forward. So as you pull that hip back, do you feel that intensify in the stretch? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. So now what I'm going to have her do is flex your toes and you're going to rotate the toes internally and externally. So this is going to go, the whole femur is going to rotate side to side and you're going to feel different areas of that hamstring light up. So we're going to explore this position a little bit. Now, how we're going to make this, this training or this session your own is we're going to find the nastiest line of tension and we're going to pause there. Haley, find your, your nastiest, tightest spot here. Okay. Drive into those sticks. Abs are engaged. Pause at a spot that feels gross. Okay. Internally has got, got you feeling some kind of way. Now I need three deep breaths. So once you're at your spot, three deep breaths. And I want you to think about that area and try and tell the nervous system to release the tension. Good. After three, this is where we're going to work pails and rails. So yeah, I know she gave me a nasty look here. So we're going to work pails and rails, drive into those sticks, start at 30%, drive down 60%, take a breath in, squeeze the abs, 90%, and go 100%, eight seconds here, pails into rails, eight, seven, six. She's driving down into the ground as hard as she can. Five, four, three, bracing core, nothing moves, rails, lift the foot. Eight, seven, stay with me, six, don't lean back. Five, four, three, two, set it down and pause. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a kinetic stretch. So a kinetic stretch is going to take the idea of pails and rails into a movement. So what I'm going to have her do is she's going to be up tall and I'm going to have her use the regressive or top tissue. So what it feels like to lift, go ahead and lift the leg. Good. You feel that top stuff? Yeah. That's what we're going to pull ourselves forward with. So you're going to pull yourself forward and then you're going to push the heel into the ground and you're going to feel the hamstring, the progressive stuff of that move. Drive the heel in and come up. Good. Pull yourself forward. We're going to do five of these. Pull, 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 and push away. Good. Two. So this should feel similar to a pails and a rails. Pull up. Try and pull this leg up, but instead of the leg coming up, the chest is coming forward. Good. Three. Two more. Pull yourself forward using all of this top stuff. Drive down using the back stuff. Good. One more. Pull yourself forward with the top. Drive yourself up. Perfect. And we're going to rest switch sides. Yeah. Nasty, right? Yeah. Good job y'all. Okay. So we're going to take that same sequence on the other side. So what I'm going to have Haley do is she's going to pull this right side hip back. Is that okay there? Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. That's enough for her. So now what I'm going to have her do is she's going to rotate that toe internally and externally. So what that's actually doing, even though I'm cueing it through the toe is the femur is rotating in the hip socket. So you're going to find where you're going to hold a lot of that tension in the straight leg position. So, uh, Haley, I want you to find your kind of nastiest line. 
It's probably gonna be that internal spot again. Maybe not on this side. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. She feels it everywhere. So you get to pick whatever line you want, okay? So uh, I know your hips. I would recommend internal. Uh, it's, it's lesser of a degree that you have. Um, so she's going to go internal, and we're going to go pails and rails. So sorry I didn't walk it through last time. Pails and rails, eight seconds pushing down into the ground, eight seconds trying to lift up. As she's pushing down, she's going to use all of this stuff. It's called the progressive yeah. tissue. It's lengthened. Yeah, it's on stretch. Then when she goes rails, she's gonna use all of this stuff. This stuff's all short right now. Her hip is in a, in a shortened position on the top, okay? So eight seconds pails, eight seconds rails, at max effort without pain. Okay, ready? Yep. She's gonna start driving down at 30% press. 60%, double it. Breath in, squeeze the abs, 90 and 100. Go, hole in the floor, leave an imprint for your heel. Eight, seven, six, Five, stay with me. Three, drive into the sticks, brace the core, lean forward, lift. Eight, seven, keep that knee locked out. Six, five, you got me. Four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful, take a breath. Yep, good, okay? Now, we're gonna do that same kinetic stretch. So you're gonna use the leg to pull yourself forward. You're gonna drive the leg in to push yourself up. So she's gonna use this stuff to come down. Go ahead and rails, pull forward, and then pails drive the hamstring, drive the heel into the ground to come up. Rails, pull the foot up, and pails push down. Good, two, can you find that feeling? Yeah. Good, three, perfect, two more. Pull the leg up, drive the leg down. Look at that quad definition, awesome. Slow it down, use less of the sticks, use your leg more. Pull yourself down, and push up. Good, that was five, perfect. Okay, awesome. So next we're gonna go into the knee and then we're gonna go into the ankle. So for the knee, I'm gonna have you sit down just where we were doing the knee car. So face the camera, perfect. Now, because we have enough rotation in the knee typically, but we just wanna make the load bearing capacity stronger, what we're gonna do is positional isometric. So essentially that's pails and rails, same idea, but we're not gonna stretch it. We don't wanna stretch out the knee joint. We wanna keep it nice and tight, but uh, more robust. So pick a leg, any leg, I don't care which one. Flex the toe up towards the shin, pull the knee into the chest a little bit more. Good, okay. Now we're gonna do external rotation first. So externally rotate, awesome, okay? Now you are gonna use your hands. I'm not gonna block off for you so they see. We're gonna take the right hand, she's doing her right leg right now. The right hand comes in the arch of the foot, good. Left hand, hooks the calcaneus or the, the Achilles tendon attachment point, the bone back there, okay? So do you feel how if you wanna internally rotate, you, you can't, there's a, there's a block there. So put tension on the hand. Do you feel that block? Mm -hmm. You feel it running through the inside of the knee? So that's where we wanna feel it. So keep playing with it until you feel, as you're trying to pull this way and you're blocking it, you feel the inside of the knee. Can you okay. find that? You can talk to me. Uh, Okay, so she's not able to really find that tension. Move your hands for me, I'm gonna give it to you real quick. So she's probably not at her end range is, is the issue here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate her a little bit more, now try and rotate in. Do you feel the inside of the knee? Not really. Okay, so she's still not feeling it. What I want you to think about is trying to squeeze, do that internal rotation again. Can you feel the inside here? Yeah, a tiny. You can feel it? Yeah. Harder, squeeze it harder. Squeeze it harder, harder, harder. Can you feel it? A little. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if she can get it on the length inside now. So that we stimulated the area, try and pull through that spot. Okay. Can you feel it? Yeah. Good, she can feel it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, that same isometric ramping, so she's gonna go 30% pushing on my hands. Good, double it, 60. Take a breath in, 90, and 100, go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, she's gonna go three, two, one, and rails, pull off my hands. Eight, seven, so she's going more external rotation. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Cool, were you able to feel that and find it? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go internal, same thing. So, nope, this leg, yeah. So pull it up, go internal. I'm gonna have you do it again, see if you can find it. Okay. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna take her left hand, she's gonna wrap around that left foot, and the right hand's gonna come on the heel. Awesome, you've got a ton of rotation. So, 
Uh, slide this foot down a little bit so you can take the foot out of the equation. So the more you can lock your hands around the heel, the better block you're gonna get for the knee because it, it kind of locks the ankle up. Okay, so now I want you to try and rotate into external rotation. Can you feel the outside? No. Yeah, not really. Okay, so she can't I'm feel it. feeling it more in my ankle. Okay, so she's feeling it more in her ankle. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull less on the ankle, flex the foot up more and lock off. So you need to keep the flexion of the ankle nice and nice and robust. So it's like a, it's an immovable joint. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah, you yeah. feel it now? Yeah. Awesome. So what we did there was a little bit of problem solving. If we bring that ankle up into flexion, it gives some rigidity to the joint and transfers the tension up into the knee. Now, as you go pails, can you feel it in the side a little bit on a this? Little. A little. Okay. So we want it to be a lot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have you move your hands for a second, you, you know that block, go into the external rotation and just squeeze the heck out of it. Like a rails tension, squeeze it. Squeeze it, yeah. touch it, yeah. find it. You can find that feeling, right? Yeah. Now go into internal rotation, now block off. Remember, flex the foot and find your block. Okay. Uh, you wrap around, good. Now try and find that outside tissue. Can you find it a lot better? A little bit, yeah. Okay, good. Now we're gonna ramp up the intensity and hopefully she's gonna feel it a lot more, okay? 60%, take a breath in, 90%, and 100, drive. Eight, seven, six, and I'm touching it for her so she gets more feedback. Five, four, three, two, one, and rails, squeeze into internal more, move your hands. Flex your foot, not ankle, not ankle, knee. Squeeze here, move your hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze it, three, Two and rest, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she felt that, awesome. Yeah, so we're working on her running abilities as well, so this is a great class for her. You're feeling that in the ankle still? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I'm okay. just hungover and dehydrated. <laughs> okay, she's a little hungover. We're switching sides. So, other knee, bend the knee. Just uh, so stay where you're at. Uh, okay. Stay with me, please. Okay. What she's gonna do is she's gonna flex that foot, She's gonna go into external rotation, and now she's gonna block off. So she's gonna use her left hand and her right, he right hand on the heel, and she's gonna start to work pails. So we're gonna try and find this inside tissue. Can you find it? Yeah. Yeah, she's got it. So we're gonna find it. If you don't find it, pause the video and do that same thing we did on the other side, where we went into the rails tissue and squeezed it, um, but she found it, so we're gonna roll. Okay, 30% press. Pressing in, 60. Take a breath in, 90 and 100. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rail, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, move your hands. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna go internal. So flex the foot and rotate internally. So you're gonna wrap around the outside, grab the heel, we're gonna find as much rotation as we can in the knee, and let's go into pails. Drive in, 30%. Flex the foot if you feel it in the ankle. 60, take a breath in, 90, and 100. Eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rail, squeeze into it. Nice effort. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Awesome, good job. Yeah, feel that in the, in the tibialis. Awesome, now we're gonna go ankle flexion and this is where we will end class. So ankle flexion, we're gonna start in a half kneeling position. So Haley, half kneeling position for me, please. Uh, facing, facing me, okay, and foot up, good. So now what she's gonna do is, she's gonna drive this knee as far forward as you can. So as much as you can until that heel wants to lift. And you can scoot this knee forward. Yeah, yeah, you need good balance. So I don't care how close it is. It can be as close as you want it to be. Okay, drive that knee forward until that heel lifts off, okay? Feel that? Mm -hmm. Good, is that tight? Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is now, so we're gonna take our kind of two minute long stretch. I'm gonna have you pronate and supinate your ankle. So you're just gonna kind of wiggle the knee around and allow that ankle to collapse and then pull into a big arch. Yeah, so you're gonna kind of massage. So this is the scanning the stretch part where when we had your legs straight out, we were rotating the toe side to side, same idea. And you don't have to go super hard. 
you know, listen to your body and, and what it says, okay? So rocking side to side, taking some breath. Awesome, maybe wiggle the toes. Good. 15 more seconds, we'll give it. Now, if you're getting a lot out of this scanning and you'd like more time, go ahead and pause the video and give yourself more time. Okay, here we go, Haley, you ready? So we're doing pails and rails here of ankle flexion. Do you know how to do that? Mm -mm. Okay, so she's gonna drive forward and then she's gonna push her toes into the ground as hard as she can. Rails will be pulling the toes up and she's gonna rock back. So it's almost like a passive range lift off, okay? So we're gonna practice once. Rock forward, push into the ground. Okay, now pull, don't rock back, pull the toes up, pull the toes up, now rock back. Boom, and you feel it in the tibialis yeah, again, right? Yeah, right yeah, in the yeah. front of the shin, go ahead and relax.